this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video, we're going to learn how to uh, get your regular photos of uh, waterfalls and make them smooth. Now, traditionally, the way that this is done, uh, of course, in, in, in the area of uh, professional photography, is actually you just need to have your shutter open uh, of, your, of, of your camera. You need to have the shutter open long enough for the water that is going through at a rapid pace to seem like it was really smooth coming down and you don't get the individual follicles of water. So it needs to be really slow uh, motion capture. So you need a tripod and so forth. So usually, you know, your candid um, photos of, of, uh, of waterfalls won't look as smooth as it could be, which looks really nice. So there is, of course, you know, Photoshop, there's many ways to actually uh, make these things look like they were there in the first place. So this is the uh, the nice uh, cheat sheet for you to make uh, waterfalls look nice and smooth, even if you're just taking it handheld. Right, so what you need to do, first of all, is we want to select the water portion of the photo. So we go into Select, color range and then of course with our uh, here's the preview of the image the image right here we're just going to click on the white of the of the water and you can play around with the fuzziness and you want to just make sure that you are just selecting just the water right so like for example here we can see that the white is being selected is white is what is being selected black is what is not being selected there are some highlights here off the rocks that we don't want so we want to lower that you don't want to get too paranoid about these things. You want to select the water, but that's, you know, you don't want to go too overboard. If you want to um, add uh, more colors, if there's some variations in the in the water that you want to select, then you can click on the plus. And on the minus, you can remove some of the colors that you don't want. Okay? Now, this is pretty good. As long as you select the majority of the water, not too much else, that, that's going pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. And we're just going to copy this now to Control and J to copy this to a separate layer. Okay? Now, in this layer, we're going to go into Filter, Blur, and Motion Blur. And in Motion Blur, this is really what gives that effect. What we want here is an angle. Depending on how your photo is, the waterfall usually the water usually falls straight down. Depending on how your photo is and the angle, you might want to do it just slightly, you know, an 83 angle if it's slightly that way, or uh, you know, like a negative 79 and so forth if it's slightly on the other way on the left. So it kind of depends on the uh, you know how how your photo was taken, and you can actually see a live preview of how you know the look of it. Just make sure you put enough of a distance here so you can tell where the stream of the water is and as long as it makes sense to you on your photo then you're good to go. I think here something around 79 actually works quite well for it to just come down that way. Okay and the other thing is the distance. You can start off with a distance of zero and then you can start increasing that to make sure that just you want to just have just enough that it makes that um, that effect possible. So you don't want to add too much. You don't want to go too overboard because then it doesn't start making sense. So just enough to you that it starts making sense. In this photo, it's something around in the 30s, I think looks really nice. So we're going to go ahead and click OK here. And like I said, it's going to select, it selected a little bit more than just the, 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 the water, right? It selected a little bit over here. Well, you can turn it on and off and see what kind of effect it's doing. It's not doing much. Let's zoom in here. But it's actually doing something. So the best bet here is to add a, um, a layer mask and go into the area where it, that is being affected. And then you can, with 100% opacity here, you can remove that with black. Remember, black removes. We're going to be removing that here. And then you can just go in and see, turning on and off, seeing what is being affected by the waterfall. Now, there's some parts here. For example, let me just show you. Um, decreasing my brush size here. There's an area here that when I turn on and off, especially at the tops here, they create sort of like this mist look. And if you're not too keen on that mist look, what you can do is change the opacity down to around 20%. And then you can just do a few passes to remove a little bit of that mist if you like. Like, for example, over here, we can click a few times to remove that on and off, on and off. And make it seem like... Now, it might make sense on your photo to have a little bit of this effect of it looking like maybe it could be a little bit of mist that's coming off of it, or sometimes not. So you can just reduce that if you like, or or not, and uh, you know just adjust your photo that way. You can obviously, you know, with a bigger brush, uh, selectively in some areas, remove that effect, 
um, and uh, you know make it a little bit more subtle in in some other parts. So there we are. This is what we're doing right now. And uh, as you can see, let's do a before and then after. And that's already looking pretty sil silky smooth. So there you are. This is the effect off and on with the silky smooth waterfall. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.